So today we're going to do a walk around inspection, show you lights, startup, and a test drive on this beautifully restored 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1. This car comes to us uh, benefiting from an extensive nut and bolt restoration. Looks as if it was a full rotisserie restoration. We do have photographs documenting the restoration of this car. And the, and the, the amount of detail is just incredible. It's a beautifully restored car. That overall, the one word to describe the condition of this car is excellent. This is an excellent car, show quality car. Um, would need very little detailing to be virtually almost dust free. It's a very nicely restored car. So as you can see, it comes to us, it has been repainted in the bright blue metallic that the car came from the factory with. with the silver stripes and decals, spoiler, uh, just beautiful paint. The paint on the car is excellent. Uh, we're going to go around and see if we can find any flaws, show you those if we can. But the paint shines brilliantly with very little to no orange peel. On the, the finish is very clear. You'll see that it's riding on a set of correct Magnum 500 wheels, which this car did come with from the factory, according to the Marty Report. And it also came with uh, the 60 by 15 wide oval tires from the factory. So when it was restored, they put the, the correct style tire back on the car. Just show you some of the uh, attention to detail. So we'll start with this, this side of the windshield is clear and free of defects. The trim around the windshield is in excellent condition. Uh, the paint on this fender is in excellent condition. I think there's some dirt we missed, but in excellent condition. Not showing any chips, no dings. Across the hood, the same. It's in excellent condition. And you'll see when we open up the hood, there is one very minor chip here. It's a little hard to find, but one minor chip there. It does, it did come from the factory with the M code Ram Air. We'll go over that. The front spoiler looks like we missed some dirt, but front bumper and spoiler grill. All in excellent condition. I'm trying to find those defects for you so you no surprises. But there are very few on this car. It's an extremely excellent condition. So the passenger side of the hood, excellent condition. The hood pins, the chrome is in excellent condition, shines well. No pitting. Passenger side fender, wheel openings, excellent condition. And all four wheels are in excellent condition, showing very little to nowhere at all. Passenger side of the windshield is in excellent condition. The side of the roof, again, excellent condition, not showing any defects. I don't believe this car has had very many miles since the restoration. Do you agree, Tyler? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it it just as few a defects as the car has on the restoration. The door's in excellent condition. The bottoms of both doors are in excellent condition, free of bubbling. This door panel is in excellent condition and, and everything, you know, fits well. A lot of these big body cars through here, they get a little warpage and these panels don't fit quite right. This fits, fits very well. And it was factory ordered with a deluxe interior. And I don't believe it has the deluxe rear folding seat. I think it's just it does not, but interior. yeah, correct. But the interior is in excellent condition. Yeah, absolutely. 
carpet's nice and black. Dome light works. Seats are in excellent condition. The door pan. No flaws on this side, really to note. And those doors open and close very well, very nicely. And this car is like laser straight. There again, this quarter panel. No defects. Now, I believe that the quarters did have some work. There's some pictures of the restoration. I believe that there's some patches in the rear quarters. They've been, been done excellent. And not full quarters, but it was about here. But there's no sign of the bodywork on either side of the car. So, nice for the rear spoilers, or louvers, I'm sorry, in the rear window. The rear spoiler, excellent condition. Rear bumper, rear valance. Exhaust tips fit right. Gas cap. Across the back. Everything. The rear lenses, even the chrome around the rear lenses is in excellent condition. The black paint around those. So in the trunk, we don't have a spare. We do have a jack, a scissor jack. You see the Inside the trunk is in excellent condition. Has been undercoated, but very lightly. But the trunk's in excellent condition. The trunk lid is in excellent condition. You can see, you know, the bolts don't even have any tarnishing or age to them. Now, while we have the hood open, there is a flaw in the decal. And you can see it was from the manufacturer because it actually follows up into the stripe up above, but, but not on the painted surface in between. So it's just in the decal. Might have been when they were putting it on. But there is two very small touch-ups right here on the edge left rear quarter is in excellent condition inside the wheel well and if you're looking for a car to show and win some awards this is one there is one spot here when they buffed it, might have got a little bit, a little bit thin, but you have to look for it. It's not something that really stands out. I did notice earlier that there's a couple minor scratches in the glass in the driver's door. The driver's door is in excellent condition. The mirror is in excellent condition. No paint chipping around the mirror. And then the driver's side. Just like the passenger side, bottom of the doors free of bubbling, all of the interiors in excellent condition. There is some wear right here on the driver's seat. And on this panel, there's a little bit of cracking here on this door panel. Pad is in excellent condition as well. So under the hood is really easy to see just the extents of the restoration and attention to detail to the Fomico hoses 
even on the oil breather. It's a Ford hose, uh, correct hose clamps, auto light spark plug wires, you know, nice new gasket on the ram air. All the components on the hood are correct and in place for the ram air. Auto light uh, regulator. Correct color of the bolts, hinges, and there's special markings above the, the transmission. And you definitely need to take a look at the pictures of the bottom side of this car. Because there, again, you'll see just how well this car, just, just these shot caps are all the right color. Painstaking, so we'll show you a startup and some lights working. go for a test drive in this gorgeous Mach 1. I'm getting my seatbelt on before I roll up my window. It's a warm day today. That is. So the window's rolled up. Tyler's phone's ringing. There we go. <laughs> So now we're going to go on a test drive of that gorgeous 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1 M code. And we'll talk a little bit about the M code. Radio works, by the way. AM FM radio. Um, it's a factory style radio. This car originally came with an, an AM radio. Right. But, um, and all the factory options are documented by the Marty Report. So, yeah. AM radio. Um, the correct wide oval tires, the Magnum 500s, the deluxe Mach 1 interior, and more important, mechanical yeah. option in this car. So it is the M Code 351, backed by the C6 automatic transmission. Yep. And uh, we have checked, and it is a correct date code in 1970. 351, Cleveland 351. The M codes, they only offer them for a year and a half in the yep. Mustang. 1970 and then half year, 71. Yep. Yeah, 71, and about halfway through, of course, the M code then later became the Q code, 351 Cobra Jet. Which actually, the M code made five horsepower more at a little higher compression ratio than the Cobra Jet did. A little better performing engine. And this one too is that this car is a factory Ram Air car. So kind of adding to the specialty and the performance of this car. So the 351 M code was rated for 285 horsepower in 1971. So if you're looking for a more rare 351 car, you know the M code at the higher horsepower, better performance. And only offered half a year in this big body style 71 through 73 Mustang. Absolutely. So these would be very comparable to your Cobra Jet cars in collectability and rarity, but even possibly more rare than a Cobra Jet car. Yeah. So on a 
55, 60 miles per hour, this car is extremely solid on the road. Even with the bias ply tires, we're at 60 miles per hour and I'm very comfortable driving the car. Power steering, power front disc brakes. The car drives and handles extremely well. No yeah, like weird squeaks, no rattles. I mean, this is a very well put together car. I mean, the restoration on this car was done extremely well and done correct. Yeah, and so, and those of you that follow us, you know that I lean towards and have a kind of a passion for those uh, original unrestored cars just because they have a special feel. They just, you can tell a car when it's been taken apart, put back together again. And they just have never quite have that factory feel. Like the car is settled into, like a house, it's settled into its foundation. But this particular car, I'm gonna slow down and do like zero to 50 or 60. Um, not zero, I've got some traffic. But this particular car now shifts into passing here just fine. 351's got plenty of power. About 60 miles per hour, 65 miles. Not really getting on the car, just kind of you know feeling the transmission shift very smoothly. Yeah, but this particular car just has that like original car feel, yeah. and you don't have a lot of body, you have no body squeaks, yeah. uh, no interior rattles like Tyler said. It just it feels right. It does. It just yeah. I will say there's a little wind noise coming from the front corner of my side window here, but not bad. It's actually, the cabin in this car is extremely quiet. Almost too quiet, I don't quite get to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> awesome sound from the 351. Yeah. This car does have a great sound. Windows down, you can hear it plain as day. But the car is extremely well put together. I can't say enough nice things about how well and how correct this restoration was done on this car. So before we form that, we probably ought to talk about like what works, what doesn't work. Yeah. Um, you know, mechanically, we've said you know the car runs and drives excellent. It does, like yeah. you would expect. A very low mile restoration. I mean, it just the car starts, runs, drives, stops, and steers. Exactly. Right. Sure. Yeah. So in, in, inside the car, we showed you all the lights work, including the reverse lights. Blower motor works. AM FM radio works. All the gauges work. Tachometer, speedometer, oil pressure, charging, and your temperature gauge, fuel gauge, they all work. Everything works in the car. The wipers work. Yeah, so everything works in the car as it should. Well, except for the horn, oh, the horn. and the clock. Yeah, the horn and so the clock. Two things. There are two things that don't work this issue. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Tyler brought me back down yeah, to not, earth. Not everything. But the car is extremely nice. So the, yeah. It does have just a couple minor flaws in the interior. A couple of the knobs. There's a little bit of chrome loss. A little bit of wear. Um, the cigarette, the ashtray, the lid, the spring. Feels like it's actually missing or was installed incorrectly so the, the lid kind of slides a little too easy. And that crack on this armrest. Yeah. There's one just very slight wear on this driver's seat. But the rest of the car, the black is Dash is in excellent condition. The headliner is in beautiful condition. Dome light works just as it should. The rear seat's in excellent condition. Deck panel. I mean, the car is just, I mean, one look at the car and you can tell just how extremely nice this car is. I mean, take, it's seriously take like some time and look at the bottom side pictures of this car. It's painted, it's detailed. You can take this car to a car show, put some mirrors underneath it, yeah. show it off. I mean, the car is that nice. So, and it will take us a few days to get it listed, but if you want to take a look at those pictures, it really shows how well this car was restored under the hood, the bottom side. We'll probably have extra pictures of this car just so to show some of the painstaking details that have gone into the restoration of this car. Absolutely. I mean, all your hardware is new on this car. All your bolts look new. There's no tarnish. I mean, this car presents with almost without age. <laughs> yeah. As far as like it should be. I mean, I would take this anywhere and put it up against any Mustang. So, yeah, just an absolutely gorgeous, rock-solid example of a 1971 Mustang Ram Air M code. Yeah, so if you're in the market um, for a great classic muscle car, show car, this car's show ready. Yeah, absolutely.
you check it out, Rock Sound Motorsports.